to break that oath that you need to take. And she can't tell this president one because if you tell the president one, eh, the, the guy will feel that number one. You kept this name from number two. You are double dating. So it, the, the, the guy knows it. She, she told the guy before. The, one. Yes, before that, they started. That, that she that has a boyfriend. She, yes, but the but the problem she has is that the guy is physically abusing her, and that's that's the leverage or that's the the opportunity the guy had. <laughs> Not that. She, she, okay, since this one is beating you, then yes. Yeah, so, and then she, she was like, my way. She needed the shoulder to lean on. Like, at, this, yeah, okay. at this point, so, let me just come in, because obviously, <laughs> let me just come in at this point. Let me just come in at this point. Baba, you, are you confused? Baba, yeah. you are being gamed. <laughs> you, I'm serious. Okay, listen. You need to understand the nature. Put yourself in a woman's situation. Just put yourself in a woman's situation. Okay. Between the age of um, twenty-one to 25. twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven is the prime of your looks. Most women's looks from the age of twenty-seven it starts to go down here a 21 year old girl will beat a 27 year old a 35 year old girl in looks so if you ask men all around the world what kind of woman do they want to date most men will tell you they want to date a girl between the age of 21 to 23 of all ages 70 year old men no 25 year old men no all of them they want to date a girl between 21 to 23 that's the prime of looks okay your friend, as um, as guys who are asking out all the time, and it's it's it's, I feel sorry for people who find themselves in that situation because it's a burden. Her looks, she has her looks, and she can use her looks to to snap up a worthy suitor within the short time because those looks will fade. But she she wants probably wants she wants a suitor that would be um, responsible. That would, every single thing and also that will not make her bored because without problem you have some people who are very very responsible they don't just have that that drama and that shakara and all that she wants a mix of that okay so if she's dating a particular guy all right and a new guy comes to ask her out and in her mind, she probably feels that this new guy, from a financial standpoint, this guy probably is better than the old guy she's dating. But she also does not know the new guy's intentions. So what a lot of ladies do is, uh, let me transition gradually from the old to the new. A lot of ladies do it. Because if she says, she breaks up with the old guy and says yes to the new guy, and then the new guy is just out there to just eat it and run. Then she can't go back to the old guy. So she takes her time. So she would tell the she would tell the new guy that my old guy is being abusive. I've, that's being abusive, Baba. Nobody today women they talk come. They don't talk come since. I have heard I have heard my own fair share of being. Abusive. And get old guy is being oh, abusive. Let me tell you the worst part, and I'm sure you would have experienced this. All right, I'm sure you will have experienced it. Okay, a girl comes to see you, and then all throughout the weekend her phone is off. When she's with you, and there may be some time when she now switches off the phone, somebody now starts calling her, and she starts insulting the person, telling the person, "Am I married to you? I'm not." Have you experienced it before? Of course, anyway. You have never experienced it before. A lady comes to see you, and then on the phone, you now hear her talking to somebody else, her boyfriend. I'm not saying you are doing anything, but okay, she's talking to somebody who is trying to toast her. So that you have experienced. Have experienced. You have experienced. Have you experienced before? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. A bit. Yeah. All right. But she's busy. I'll call you. I'm busy. I'll call you. And then you probably maybe the, maybe the guy now the the guy now says something. Like, Let me talk to the guy you're with. You have not experienced that before. <laughs> not. okay so if you have experienced that and imagine you're now dating you now have a girlfriend you now call her on the weekend her phone is off imagine you have your imagine you have a girlfriend not your present not the person you're with right now but imagine that you, when you, you you call somebody and friday night the person's phone is off saturday morning is off uh, saturday evening is off phone now becomes active sunday morning sunday <laughs> evening 
<laughs> what will come to your mind? Uh, Lolo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so the point I'm trying to say is this, sometimes, because it's not just enough to listen to what people say, you also have to watch people's actions. All right? If somebody is dating someone, forget about the, because if I have to tell you, sell you a story, I'm going to sell you a story. So what story am I going to tell you? This is the way. Think about the story that you just narrated. Um, there's somebody who I dated. He took my virginity. That's the first thing he told us. The second thing is, I had an oath with him. Because you'll have to ask, why can't you leave this guy? I have an oath with him. That's why I'm afraid. Why, have, why did you leave the guy? The guy is abusive. Okay, so what is the new guy? What did the new guy do? I have, I have not told the new guy. I don't want to hurt him. Effectively, effectively, he probably wants to leave the your friend. That's my own. I may be wrong, all right? Because you know, <laughs> she wants to leave your friend, and she's using you to break up with him, so that you will go and sell this story to your friend, and 